Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are doing good, na? Okay, this is the our next part of the lesson, light refraction and refraction. Okay, today we will start from the things that we actually last class ended. Our first topic is going to be today image formation by convex mirror okay last class we have actually discussed how the images actually form in case of concave mirrors right so today we will actually have to observe the image formation by the convex mirror but before starting this topic we should actually know what was the properties of the convex mirror okay in my videos i have actually discussed how, how the actually image forms and what are the properties of the convex mirror what is the main property of the convex mirror the main property of the convex mirror was that if I consider a convex mirror, okay, and if it is a principal axis, if there is one ray that is parallel to the principal axis, and if it is focused, it is center and this principal axis, uh, sorry, pole, then after reflection, though it gets reflected, it actually diverse or appears to be diverse from what? From focus. In the last class, okay, when we are actually just discussing about the image formation by the concave mirror right and before that i will actually discuss representation of the images okay formed by the ray diagrams using spherical mirrors right in that case some students actually ask me one question that why in case of a convex mirror i actually give the focus and center in the right side right okay this is a kind of in important question but if you have actually watched my videos properly and attentively you will actually learn because in the very first class when i actually discuss that how the spherical mirrors are actually formed what I have said, if it is a sphere, I cut both the sides, right? And this is the side from where the actually convex mirror forms. And for this convex mirror center is in which direction? Right direction. If the center is in the right direction, focus will be what? At the middle of this line and it is a pole. So that's how or that's why we actually draw the focus and the center of curvature in the right side direction okay and if you want to say actually if you do not consider this figure you can also say something differently that in case of a convex mirror okay images are always virtual and erect just left the virtual part virtual sorry erect part we have to consider the word virtual right virtual image always forms behind the mirror right where we actually can't observe that's why i said one term that imaginary world okay that left part where you can actually observe the formation of the images or we can observe the for meeting of the two reflecting rays after reflection okay in the real world that's why i consider that is a real world understood and since in this part we can't actually observe the formation of the images that is a virtual world okay since it is a virtual world we have to always give dotted lines we can't give a direct straight line understood that students I hope you have just understood the thing. Okay, I hope your concept is clear, right? Always believe in taking or clearing the concepts. Okay, once you have good concepts, you can easily crack any kind of exams. You can get good marks in all any kind of exams, right? So this is the thing. Now we will actually move towards the image formation by the convex mirror. This is the main property, right? You have actually understood. And in case of the form image formation by the convex mirror, we are going to have only two conditions. Okay, or we are going to have two positions of the object. Okay, but in case of a concave mirror, we have uh, almost six positions, right? We have to only discuss two positions. Okay, now we'll basically discuss that. Okay, our first case is going to be our first case is going to be when the object is at infinity. Uh, by the one thing, when I just draw the figure, okay, and uh, when you watch the video and just try to draw in your copies. Just follow the NCRD books, okay? In that book, you're going to get the proper image because what happens in I, when I draw by freehand, sometimes my rays become a little bit of band, right? From the, uh, sometimes my focus a little bit get actually deviated from the original position, okay? So for this kind of errors, you just go to the copies, okay? Uh, watch the copy and just draw the proper figure, right? Now we'll observe what actually happens when we object, keep the object in the infinity, okay? Now, First, I will draw one convex mirror. 
and don't get confused between concave and convex mirror okay so just clear a concept about the concave and convex mirror so for that you just watch my videos again and again then you will concept will clear first i will draw the principal axis right so the pole is going to be here and if this is a center this is going to be the focus right and when we discuss about the representation of the images using spherical mirrors then we have actually discussed one property that was the maybe first property right that was the first property for the convex mirror that if the ray comes very much parallel to the principal axis after getting incident it just get reflected like that okay simple we will consider one more ray because why for one incident ray there is going to be only one reflected ray okay i told you in the last video that for this mirror okay for convex mirror same case is going to be there because here we only need two incident ray and for that we are going to get two reflected ray when the two reflected ray will meet that is going to be our image simple simple concept right again there will be one more incident ray and it will be reflect like that okay see just look closely what i was saying about the first image see these two reflected ray are quite getting away from each other okay tell me one thing are these two rays are getting or going to meet at some point obviously not because it is quite obvious so but we are going to need some image okay so we have to do one thing like a plan mirror we will do like that that means now these two rays are actually looking like appear to be diverse from focus this is the main property of what mirror convex mirror if you want you can actually draw the what uh normals if you want to draw but it's not the actually this is the main thing okay here now again we have to write nature of the image will be what what is the nature simple it is highly diminished first you can write point size you can write point sized or highly diminished right now we have to look what is the position what is the position simple concept at focus at f you can write at f right now what was the nature god size okay this should be the nature of the image this should be the size of the image sorry it's my mistake size of image now we have to say the nature nature of image obviously all convex mirror always forms partial and erect image but see in case of concave mirror there is only one condition where concave mirror forms partial and erect but in case of the convex mirror there is only two positions for object and for that okay for both of the two positions we are going to get partial and erect image simple it is quite easy to remember okay so the nature of the image will be what partial and erect erect means what um same size or in the same direction as is of the object you may think okay and i have not got this question okay i have just expecting that i will get this question as your doubt that in case of a thing okay in case of both the concave and convex mirror when we keep the object at infinity we always image get the image at what focus and i always write the size of the image is point size and highly diminished now there is a question if it is a highly diminished and point size how can we actually say that the image is going to be partial and erect because it is a point size but the thing is if you zoom this part point size the point should be look like this na okay if you zoom out this point it will going to somehow look like this okay this point is going to have some position okay and going to have some direction maybe it is going to be like that okay though this is a point if you clearly draw that position is going to be like that but maybe very small okay that's how we actually draw okay this is a simple thing a simple concept that you can actually consider so this is the main thing about the our first position now we'll move towards our next position okay our next position is going to be at 
when we place the object in between infinity and pole okay is in between infinity and pole right because see simple concept is also going to be there why we only get two positions because in case of a convex mirror we always give the focus and center the right side okay that is behind the mirror and you can't place the object behind the mirror we have to always place the object in front of the mirror but in front of the mirror there is no positions only one position is pole that is it is in the mirror okay and the next position is infinity so there is only one the two positions one is at infinity and that is going to be what in between infinity and pole simple now we will draw that thing okay this is the convex mirror this is the principal axis this is the pole this is the focus and this is the center right so what is going to happen we will draw one ray like that okay simple thing is going to be there a one ray will incident parallelly to the principal axis then it will actually reflect back like that okay now we will consider two properties this is the first property of the convex mirror the one more property was that when a ray pass through the or appear to be passed from or directed towards the center it again reflects back in the same line but in a different direction okay or in the opposite direction that is i am saying that if i consider this as one more ray okay incident on it but if i first sorry let me actually cut band okay it means why it is actually directed towards center okay when it when there's it the incident it makes an angle 90 degree okay if the if it makes a 90 degree what is going to happen the reflected ray will be in the same direction but in the opposite direction one reflected we have got now and for another reflected ray you have to do this so this is the point where the two reflected ray meets so this is going to be our image if it is a b then it is going to be a dash b dash right so by watching the or by observing the figure we can write the its size of the image okay size of the image is what smaller than the uh, object so we write what diminished right now position Position is going to be what? Position is going to be in between P and F. You can also you have to write behind the mirror. Okay, you can write you have to write behind the mirror. Now the next thing is going to be Nessar. Nessar is going to be what? Right side. Simple. Far swell and erect okay similar to the concave mirror you have to write when you draw the figure you have to write these three things because these three things are the main okay simple thing so you just pause the video and draw this okay our next topic is going to be and this is going to be one important thing okay sign convention for reflection okay reflection by spherical mirrors okay students sign convention for reflection by spherical mirror now what does it mean by sign convention right see whenever actually in class 9 you have actually got the concept of scalar quantity and vector quantity right in motion lesson right what happened in that case distance is a scalar quantity it has no direction okay and displacement is what is what vector quantity that means what along with the magnitude it has direction to once we add the direction 
it, it can be positive, it can be negative. Okay. If you consider the right side as the positive and left side as the negative, then when a person has a displacement of 20 kilometer, okay, got a displacement of 20 kilometer in the right side, it is going to be positive. If it is in the negative or in the left side direction, it is going to be negative. That means there is going to be a negative sign. Okay, and negative and positive sign always comes because of the direction, right? But in case of a formation of the images, in case of a spherical mirrors, both the case of concave and convex mirror, we saw that sometimes image forms in the left side of the uh, uh, mirror, okay, and sometimes it forms in the right side of the mirror. That means what? There's a left side and right side. That means what? There's a direction too. Okay, so there will be a positive sign and negative sign depending on the direction of the image formations and object size object position actually not size it is mainly related with the position okay where the actually object is situated okay where the image is actually formed okay there is the position and that position have some direction from the mirror okay we will see how it actually works okay first i will draw okay it is always convenient to draw the concave mirror so i will draw Concave mirror, but never get confused that why only start draw conve concave mirror because it's actually because some kind of easy or some kind of convenient to draw. Okay, there's nothing more reason that this is the concave mirror. In the class, we have actually discussed that this center point okay of the reflecting survey is known as the what pole, right? Now I will draw the principal axis. Mm -hmm. See, that connects with it. Bad. Okay, this is a pole. Okay. Now, consider if it is the object, that's an object, if it is the image. Okay. This is the left side direction, this is the right side direction. Okay. Now, I hope you have a concept of Cartesian, okay, or coordinate system. That coordinate system is also in the Cartesian coordinate, right? This is the origin, this is the positive axis, this is the negative x axis, this is the positive y axis, this is the negative y axis. Okay. Similar thing is going to be here, right? I told you that this pole is the center of the reflecting surface, right? So, as like that, here this is the position where it is the origin. In case of a mirror, in case of concave mirror or convex mirror, that pole is going to be our origin, okay? So all the distance, okay, like radius of curvature, focal length, object distance, image distance will be measured from here, okay. And the direction will also be measured from here. Since for this origin, this is the right side, okay. This is the positive the positive side, okay. This is the negative side, and this is the positive side, and this is the negative side. And where from where we should consider the positive and negative side from this origin, right? Similar things here too. From this origin, we will actually consider this is the which side is the positive side, which side is the negative side. But if you follow this thing, our this side is going to be what? Positive side. Okay. And this side is going to be what? Negative side. Okay. It will be more convenient for you if I draw like that. Wait for a minute. Let's erase this part. If I draw one more line which is actually passing through the here. Okay, I will not give you arrow mark here because since it is a axis, okay, so it is looking like a positive axis, x axis or y axis. So what we can say that, what you can say, if it is a y direction, positive y direction, the image, if the object is kept like that, it will be what? Positive, okay. If the image formed like that, okay, it is going to be what? Negative right because it is in the negative y direction right now because the main coordinate system was like that okay for your convenience i will again against the drawing y and negative y right again since this is the positive x-axis if the image forms in the this side in the right side the images the distance is going to be positive okay if we calculate or measure any kind of distance in the left side that means in the negative x direction the readings will be or the sign will be in front of the measurement will be always a negative sign clear now students okay see most of these students actually get actually confused about these signs okay don't try to memorize it 
I am just telling you. Okay, this might work quite advice for you that don't try to memorize these things because otherwise, if you memorize it, you are going to get confused in exam. Try to understand the concept of it. Okay, simple thing. The right side is if we consider any kind of distance in the right side, it is going to be positive. If we measure any distance from the pole in the left side, okay, it is going to be negative. If we find a focal length from here, okay. I have measured from this origin to left side. That means what? That focal length is going to be what? Negative. If I measure the object distance from pole to the left side, it is going to be negative. If the image forms in the left side of the spherical mirror and you have to find, measure the image length, we have to measure from the pole to the left side. That means that image length or image distance is going to be also negative. Right? We will see. We will see. Don't worry about that. That means we you should actually write that in case of concave mirror or any kind of spherical mirror, if anything we take in the right side direction of the concave mirror or the convex mirror, it is going to be positive. Okay. But we have to measure the distance from pole because it is our origin. Right. And if we measure any kind of distance from the pole in the left side, it is going to be negative. But one more case is there in the positive x, y axis, negative y axis. If the image form, if we measure the image size, in the upside direction or in the positive y direction, that image size is going to be what? What? Positive, right? And if we measure the image size from the principal axis or the, from the center to the downside direction, that is negative y direction, the image size is going to be what? Negative, okay? That image size will be going to work one more new term that will actually move towards that magnification, okay? We'll go through that. Now we will see how it actually forms. Now we will consider one actually example, right? One example we will take. Consider this as a concave mirror where the image actually from in left side direction. Okay, if the object is here, okay, I will draw it properly. Wait, hmm. wait, just wait. For your convenience, I will actually draw. This is the focus. This is the center. Okay, now I will draw one thing. This is the incident ray. This is the okay. This is the focus. This is the reflected ray, right? And one more incident ray. Will be there. Okay. Once it is the center, it has incident here, right? It will again reflect it back because it measures a ninety degree. Okay. Now this is the point where the two reflecting ray meets. It is giving me the image size. If it is AB, it is going to be what? A dash, B dash, right? Now we will consider this is the object, or we will consider the object distance as what 20 centimeter, right? And the image distance, this is the image form, right? From here it will measure, this is the image position, it is going to be what? Consider as 10 centimeter, right? Now what I have said, if we measure any distance, okay, if we measure any distance from here, okay, from the pole to the left side, that distance is going to have negative value. And we always measure the object distance as u. Okay, it is what? 20 centimeter, but it is in the left side. Okay, so you have to give a negative sign. Understand now? Now, this is the position of the image. So we will always represent it by v. There's a final position, like initial velocity, final velocity, consider this as an initial point and the final point, right? Initial position of the image and this is the final position of the Sorry, initial position of the object and P is the final position of the image. It has again a length of a magnitude of 10 centimeter. Okay. So it is again in the left side of the uh, concave mirror. So we will again give a negative sign. Right. But what about the focal length? Focal length. It is not given. F. Right. But again, what about the Radius of curvature. Okay. It is again not given. But we know that if we have to measure the focal length, again, if we have to measure the radius of curvature till actually this point, that is going to give us the radius of curvature and that this distance is going to be as focal length. But the thing is, we one thing we know that. Since we are measuring the focal length from the in the left side direction, and since we are measuring the uh, radius of curvature in the left side direction, both of them are going to be negative because it is in, we are measuring this in the left side direction. Okay, clear. 
but what about the values of the focal length and the radius of curvature okay that if we have to measure the focal length and the radius of curvature okay we are going to need one more formula right we need a formula right that formula is nothing but what mirror formula for the spherical mirrors okay that is that is going to be our next topic okay what you have got from that formula is that the image distance was 20 centimeter minus 20 centimeter because sorry object distance was minus 20 centimeter for, because it was in left direction and v was minus 10 centimeter we need the focal length and radius of curvature okay there is one formula through which we can find both these two quantities and that formula is known as what mirror formula okay for spherical mirrors right what that formula actually gives that formula gives a relation okay among three quantities okay that is object distance image distance and focal length okay now what is that distance or that what is that formula 1 by u plus 1 by v equal to 1 by f or you can write 1 by v plus 1 by u equal to 1 by f because addition is always commutative right so now if we put the values okay of the u and v we will see what we are going to get focal length right now we'll actually put those values u is given as minus 20 centimeter so i will give here minus 20 right again the v is given as minus 10 so i will give one minus 10 and bracket and 10 equal to 1 by f simple concept now what will is going to be the lcm 20 obviously 20 so here it will be a what minus 1 and here it is going to be what minus 2 right equal to 1 by f if we simplify this it is going to be minus 3 by 20 equal to 1 by f we do not need 1 by f we need one only f right so what is going to be there if we reverse these things all things is going to be reversed that is 20 by 3 equal to f if we just replace the positions or just reverse things are a little bit differently minus 20 by 3 right if we again simplify it and consider to the just 10th position just omitting the decimal position we're going to get focal length as minus okay it is not equal sign it should be almost equal to minus sign right since all this in centimeter it is going to be also in centimeter now look closely there's a negative sign that i also told you that since focal length is in the we have measured the focal length in the left side direction from the pole there's a negative sign okay my thing is right right what i've said is right now now we have to find the radius of curvature what was the relation between focal length and radius it is that radius is twice of that focal length that means what you can say radius is going to be twice f that means r is the twice of that focal length right so 2 into minus 7 centimeter we simplify it we are going to get minus 14 centimeter we got actually we just solve a problem okay we did two things in one part egg golime do seka right so f is minus 20 by 3 and r is equal to twice f that means we got both the three two things and both the, all the things in the negative part that means in case of concave mirror but only for one condition okay where actually from the first wave image for that case that v is going to be positive because that image forms in the what behind the mirror that means what in the right side of the mirror okay so that right side means what which is going to be positive but rest of the five cases all the image forms in the left side direction so for that case u and v are going to be negative okay and for that case focal length is going to be negative and radius of curvature is going to be negative clear but except in but last in the last case where the image actually in between uh, center and sorry pole and focus that where actually happen the image actually forms in the right side where except the image object object distance rest of the three quantities is going to be positive because rest of the three quantities is, that is this is one this is one and this one that three quantities is going to be in the right side of the image 
okay and the mirrors that means so this is the all thing about mirror formula okay simple concept there's nothing to actually understand okay difficulty in understanding right simple thing but we just have to clear about the signs or sign conventions okay i hope i have cleared doubts okay now we will move towards our next topic that is going to be magnification right it is quite interesting one right magnification okay next topic is going to be magnification okay clear now see first before starting this topic okay we have to understand what actually mean by magnification okay in our day to day life magnification means how much an object is actually getting larger okay or some, we are actually observing something getting a larger portion or actually in case of our digital life we actually mean by magnification means some large image okay if i uh, watch something with a magnifying glass we are going to getting the uh, big image okay you're going to be getting that uh, image as the bigger in size right but the thing is what is going to be the bigger bigger object or image image right so this is the relation between image and object right so in physics okay magnification means or magnification actually represents to which extent okay to which extent an image okay is or image size is getting larger smaller or equal okay now to which extent or can say to which extent image size is getting change compared to the object size okay and that magnification is always represented by simple small m okay and it is the ratio okay of two quantities okay. height it is completely related to height height of the image by height of the object now what is height see when we are actually discussing about the image formation we get the image distance and image size we have not measured the image size image size means what here where we consider the image size like that an object like that that means what that image and object is only one dimensional quantity one dimension means what it has only one direction that means if it is going to have a only height or length or breadth okay since it is only one direction measuring from a actually principal axis so that image size is going to nothing but what height okay consider me as a unidirectional thing okay since i am standing in the ground so i am going to have a height okay that is going to be my size right so same thing is going to be here too that image size is the image height right clear now so we can write i will write the formula or the definition mathematical definition actually a mathematical representation of magnification, magnification is represented by m is going to be height of the image by height of the object okay now since it is the height of the image i will represent this as hi okay i for image and it is the height of the object it will be what hoo for the object don't get confused because in your ncd book it is represented by some h dash by h okay you can also write like that in which way you get feel comfortable just write like that okay you just don't need it is not a mandatory thing that you have to write like this only okay you can write any one okay you can give h a h b okay then you have to mention what is h a what is h b okay so this is the thing now again magnificent one more formula that is minus p by u this two formulas actually we have to remember and this is the actually main formula that is h i by h o understood now there is certain things that you have to actually consider about the magnification okay that is magnification can also be positive and negative okay understood now we will move towards the zero too okay how it can be zero but in real life it is cannot be zero but if we look closely it can be zero too okay but we will actually move towards the first we have to understand how it can be positive and negative see it is having two heights height of the image and height of the object okay height always measures from what if it is a concave mirror if it is a object 
okay in the image that means what this is the principal axis that means it is the y direction right it is the positive y oh, sorry positive y direction and it is going to be a negative y direction right now students clear concept about this so this is the thing since always neither if it is either concave mirror or the convex mirror object is always placed in the positive y direction that means what that ho is always positive right clear because in case of a concave mirror or convex mirror we always place object in the upside direction of the principal axis that means it is always in the positive y axis direction but in case of image height there is going to be both positive and negative because when we consider the real image image is always from in the negative y direction so what we can say image is going to be negative right it is always also always coming from the sign convention that we have actually learned if you have the clear your concept about the sign convention it is also be clear to you okay this is for the real image but what about the virtual image virtual image always forms what okay in this direction that means in the positive y direction that means it can be both positive and negative a simple concept nothing to be actually getting confused okay don't get confused just clear your concept about this sign convention if you get any kind of doubts just ask me in the comment section by the way you are going to have only one more quiz completion here okay i will actually tell the quiz completion or i will ask you a uh, quiz uh, question for that okay first we will actually clear our concepts okay then we move towards that okay i have understood this thing na? how it can be positive and negative right now what you can say that magnification can be positive and negative right if the magnification is positive right it is going to be what real okay if the magnification is negative it is going to be partial okay we will come towards this how it is real and partial okay see this is going to be your question okay this is going to be one interesting question okay we have understood the concept that how a real thing is happen and how a partial thing is happening okay so my question is going to just write it down okay in your copies that when or not when why magnification okay why magnification first write me down let me uh, when magnification m is positive it is real and why and when it is negative okay when it is negative it is partial okay this is my question why magnification m is positive okay it should be not why when magnification is positive it is real and when it is negative give me reasons okay simple reasons is going to be there if you have understood the sign convention okay you will can give me the answer i need only why it is real and why it is partial okay i need only that i just again repeat the question when magnification m is positive it is real okay when it is negative it is partial i need the reason why understood students right and for real image magnification always positive okay and for partial image the magnification is going to be negative because if between these two quantities okay between these two heights if one of the two heights become negative it will be whole magnification is going to be negative but object height cannot be negative because it is always positive because it always in the upside direction but image height can be negative too because for real image it is really in the negative direction and for our partial image but i need why if m is positive it is m is uh, magnification is real when m is negative that magnification is partial 
Okay, I am not asking about the virtual image or virtual uh, real image. Okay, I am asking about the magnification. Okay, why it becomes real and why it becomes virtual depending on the positivity and negativity. Clear? Just write this question. Okay, so this is the time for actually. Uh, I should that give that answer of that quiz completion question. Okay, my question was that when we place the object at infinity, but focus image from the infinity. Okay, so I asked that why the image forms real, why the image forms at infinity. I told the size about that object or image that it is highly enlarged. Now my question was why the image size is highly enlarged. See, wherever and image size have to measure. Okay, we always measure the image size from the principal axis. Okay. Now, when we actually discuss the concept of magnification, what we have learned that size image size is nothing but the height of the image, and image height is always come from the base. If the principal axis is the base, then from the base that height is going to be measured, right? So, what is going to happen when the line comes? Consider to just the reflecting rays. It is coming now. It is getting away from the principal axis. Okay, that means what? That distance from the principal axis and the two rays getting meet is continuously getting increasing. Now, continuously getting increasing. Okay, if I consider this is the infinity. Okay, that two rays will meet here. So, image size is what? Quite large, right? So that is the main reason. When the two rays are getting away from the principal axis, the image height is getting large. That means what? Image size is getting bigger and bigger in size compared to the object size. This is the main reason why the image size is highly enlarged compared to the object size because object size is this is this much. Now consider the image size quite big, right? So this is the main reason. Now lots of students have given me answers. So, but some students have actually used their some own ideas, but maybe they have not given the correct answer. Okay, just don't mind if you have just failed. But try this time. Okay, that question I have actually asked: Why m when while actually uh, m is positive, that it becomes real, and while m is negative, it becomes virtual. I need the proper answer. Okay, use your concept about the real and virtual things. Then you will be able to give me the answers. Now I will announce the names of the. Winners of this course competition. Okay, maybe I'll just excited now. Okay, wait. I will just announce their names. Their first name is Vishal Juti Kolita. Okay. The second name is Vian Medhi. And third name is Kaushika Khos. Fourth name is Meher Alam. Fifth name is Mushfiq Wasif. Sixth name is Juti Das. Seventh name is Punam Parvin. Right. And eighth one is Tamanna Saikia. Nine one is Garima Brahma, and tenth one is Mahzabin Ansari. Eleventh number is Rahul Amin. Then Bismita Basumatari. After that Himansu Kalita, and next one is Aryan. I don't know his surname. And next one is Sub Sharma, and the last one is Jusmeer. This is this is not a rank, okay? I just uh, write their names. Who is giving me the first answer, then second answer, third answer? They all are equal, but just I just wrote down name with point. Okay, so those are all the students whose names are there. Okay, you just again repeat the video and just uh, try to find your names. If your name is here, then a big congratulations to all of you. Okay, and those students whose name is not here, just don't get actually feel bad. Okay, try to answer this time this question. Okay, so it is my. All of us for you, all of you that just uh, try this question and congratulations to all of the students who have actually just given a correct answer. Okay, they have tried one girl actually give me one answer that atmospheric pressure. Okay, see that is a quite actually interesting fact about the atmospheric pressure because what happens when they actually beam pass away? If there is a high amount of atmospheric pressure, it is going to bend, bend. Okay, from its actually this thing. But in case of Okay, your answer is correct. Okay, here yeah. my main point was getting away from the principal axis. That was the main keyword. Okay, the getting away from the principal axis. That's why image size is getting larger. It's a main keyword. You have added one more extra number, atmospheric pressure. See, when we just draw, okay, in when we will just draw that in that case, that atmospheric pressure doesn't come into act. Okay, but maybe in real world when the ray will come, 
there will be a negligible effect of the atmospheric pressure. Understood that? So, but there's one more thing. Okay. The when we will actually start uh, reflection of light, we are now we are studying reflection. Now we will next move towards the reflection. So what happened in that case? We always see, or we always see the stars blinking, right? Do you think that all uh, that in real life that star is continuously blinking? No, because light is reflected from its original position. Dear is the effect of actually environment. Okay, atmospheric pressure, wind, lots of things are there. Okay, so then the concept of atmospheric pressure is come. But in this case, since we are drawing in a copy or in a book or in a board, so in that case we will not consider the concept of the atmospheric pressure. Okay, if you have not mentioned it, oh God, her name was maybe. I just forget his name or that girl or boy. I just forget his name actually. If that girl or boy doesn't mention this keyword, that we're uh, getting away from the principle like this, that then that answer will also be wrong or uh, will be considered as the wrong because if you write this thing in your exam, okay, it is not going to be correct answer. Okay, this is the main key point that it is getting away from the principle axis, right? Then the image size and image size is will be increased. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Okay, since uh, your Eid is coming, right? So happy Eid ul Fitr to all of you. Okay, in advance. Okay, enjoy your Eid. Okay, until but in a safe way. Okay, don't go outside in group. Okay, maintain some social distance. Proper, use proper mask. Use proper sanitizer. Right? Till then, keep safe. Okay, sayonara.